Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is November 13, 2021. Uh, this is the weekend edition of uh, Heavy Short Ratio Stocks here. I wish all of you very happy weekend here. We'll jump in and get started. So with that, let's cover top stock with the Heavy Short Ratio um, and do a quick market update and see where, where do we go from here. It's in most of your mind here. Stock is at the top right now. Market is at the record high. Where do we go from here? Let's try to answer that question and then let's look at uh, stocks with the heavy short ratio um, and then let's filter it down by looking at stocks with the positive sales growth and gross margin and low RSI, still high short ratio. And then we'll even uh, you know, go down and filter it down, look at the better way to grow your portfolio with the rule of 40 here um, and positive net margin. And we'll even take it a notch higher and look at best way to grow your portfolio with the rule of 40, positive net margin, and low debt. And finally, one of my favorite is we will look at stocks where heavy short ratio meets TTM squeeze. These stocks can't wait. They have to go higher or lower pretty quickly. That's where we can make some money and go from there. With that, let's jump in here, look at a quick market update, and also try to understand where do we go from here. As you look through here from a market perspective, we got S&P 500 at record high here, almost at a stone's throw away from all time high. And same story with NASDAQ here, almost at the top here, and Dow Jones Industrial Average as well as Russell, all are almost at the top here. So that's why you got to be selective here. Don't buy these ETFs. Instead, look for some good opportunities and buy some beaten down stocks, which have got great growth potential. So with that, let's jump in here and try to answer the question, where do we go from here? As you look through here, um, we got here S&P 500, mother of all uh, futures here. And as you look through, we got the December contract trading at 4681. And as you look through here, 120 days out, a March contract is trading lower, 4671. That tells you, don't expect the stock market to go higher. It will be in the trading range. And as you go further into June here, it even came down a little bit, 4658. That tells you, hey, what, uh, you know, market may not go super, super high here. Instead, it will be in the trading range. That's what, um, you know, um, futures are pricing in as of now. And as you look through here, uh, you might wonder, hey, what happens next week? As you see here, we got nine days out, uh, number 21 here, um, you know, nine days out. Keep watching your 11% uh, up or down. So don't expect uh, too much volatility. So in uh, nine days, uh, market might go up or down by 69 points uh, from a futures S&P 500 perspective. That's what is uh, factored in as of now. And if you go even further out, maybe a 30 days out here, keep watching here, 30 days out, 369 points up or down here in S&P 500. So in, in short, uh, it will be, you know, trading range type market here. Uh, there will be some up or down as you look through here, 41% up or down, 57. It's, uh, you know, a little bit in the, you know, not, not uh, too high or low, pretty much in the trading range. You could uh, expect that as you go forward. Of course, there will be some curveballs curve here and there with some uh, news items. So with that, from a overall market perspective, on Friday, we got a great day. We got uh, Dow Jones, NASDAQ, S&P 500 all went higher. And from a news item perspective, we got Elon Musk here selling 1.2 billion of Tesla stock here. And Dow Jones rises, as you can see here. But still, they, they did not uh, manage to go higher this week. They snapped a five-week win streak here. We got to watch out this one a little carefully. And Amazon is uh, buying a $21 billion stake in Rivian here. It's an electric vehicle play. Amazon is betting this innovation can help with the climate change. We'll see how it goes. Look what's happening here. Our friend Elon Musk sells uh, 1.2 billion Tesla stock. Amazon buys $21 billion Rivian here. So Rivian is a, you know, uh, you know, a competitor for um, Tesla here. I think uh, it's got a shot at uh, you know, going higher here. It can take some market share away uh, from Tesla. We'll see how it goes and too early to call right now. But generally, dynamic perspective, Musk sells, Amazon buys Rivian. So, you know, good contrast here. 
and we got a lot of workers quitting the job here it's very easy to find a job high paying job that's why workers are quitting and also consumer sentiment hits a 10 year low here because uh, all this uh, inflation is impacting uh, the price of the you know merchandise here if you go to any shop you can't find all the merchandise that you need here and they also at a high price that's why a consumer sentiment is low right now inflation remains super hot here we'll see when walmart reports next week uh, what they will say about uh, supply chain shortage inflation and take it from there and mall stocks are back here think about your favorite stocks like uh, macy's and uh, you know other mall based shops here they're all back nicely and last year we thought hey malls are not going to come back anytime but they're back nicely folks are taking covid shots and they're a little more uh, confident to go into malls now that's a good story and if you look through the stock news here from a heavily shorted stocks we got workhorse reporting a q3 loss here and they lag revenue estimates here look what happened to the stock here stock went up in one day and went up in five day also <clears throat> at these levels here rsi 52 um, i would be slowly buying some workhorse here uh, if, it, if the rsi goes a little more lower i would add more the key is here really don't really buy one stock in a huge quantity instead spread your wealth around uh, maybe it's five ten stocks and take it from there and then you got your crtx uh, alzheimer's play here stock came down big time due to some uh, issues around regulations or fda approval type issues here i would be a buyer of uh, crtx at these levels here look at the rsi very 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 low here you could uh, buy some crtx and you can expect a bounce back here and we got dd here chinese uber uh, right now it's super hot here they got some uh, they are relaunching their apps in china rsi is 59 nice up swing here wait for a little pullback here rsi 59 tells you wait no no need to rush and buy and then we got tattooed chef here they rescheduled their third quarter earnings wall street does not like this anytime a company pushes out their earnings report um you know it's a you know it's a issue the predictability here um that's why wall street did not like it stock came down at these levels with the rsi 36 you could slowly buy some tattoo chef here and then you got espiron here espr so as you can see here stock came down here uh, i would be a buyer of espr at these levels here rsi is 42 you could expect a nice bounce back here and then you got lemonade here as you'll see here lemonade is a great company uh, they they want to disrupt the insurance industry with their artificial intelligence based uh, insurance here right now stock is uh, down in last uh, one day and five day rsi is 49 this tells you, you could still buy some lemonade lemonade at these levels and uh, expect a nice bounce back here uh, keep watching the short ratio all high short ratio here and then we got cassava here cassava is one of my favorite trading stock uh, right now as you can see your rsi a little high here stock came down i will wait for a little more pullback and then buy cassava cassava and crt explain the same alzheimer area here alzheimer is a very tough uh, disease to crack here that's why they are having some challenge here and then we got toast here toast is toasted they're down big time as you can see here uh, stock dropped 17 percent i would be buyer of toast at these levels here given a low rsi here and then finally we got uh, Hiron therapeutics hrtx nice sales growth as you can see here rsi is 51 a little higher uh, debt on the balance sheet but you could still buy some Hiron at these levels here expect a nice uh, bounce back here also a high short ratio 29 percent so with that let's uh, jump in here and look at uh, sector and trend analysis so from a sector an analysis perspective as you can see here dow jones um, nasdaq emerging market russell 2000 and uh, you know all this uh, I, mean, I mean spy on the top here all at the uh, stone throw away from 52 week high maybe exception is uh, emerging market here you could still some buy some good names here so with this in a nutshell what i would recommend is really don't buy these etfs at the top instead look at some great stocks underneath with the good value and buy those as you look through here from a 20 year treasury perspective or a bond perspective bonds are a little bit weaker here that's helping the stock market in general and uh, risk is off people are buying gold here they would don't want to put too much money at risk here 
uh, that's a good one here. I would not buy gold up here given RSI is uh, 71 here. Instead, I would focus on some great gold stocks which are beaten down and buy those. And from a general, from a uh, sector perspective, financials is uh, making some comeback here. And as bonds go slower, financials go higher because they get, uh, you know, they get to charge more interest rate when they, when they um, originate some loans here. That's why financials is going higher. You know, at the high level, keep watching the RSI levels here. You could buy some utilities here. Money is swapping out of utilities into uh, bonds because of the yield going higher. You could look at some good names in utilities and also look at uh, good names in XOP, oil patch. Generally, I don't like oil stocks too much, but you could look at some bargains here. And you could also look at uh, XLC here with the stocks like Facebook, Snapchat, Pinterest, uh, and Twitter, those are the good ones you could accumulate here with the low RSI here. And let's jump in here and look at the trend analysis. From a trend perspective, um, the Bitcoin is doing great here. Both uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum, they're at the top here. A little bit pullback in one day. I would wait for a little pullback here. There will be always some news about Bitcoin. The government is regulating. China does not like it. And there will be big bad news. Sky is falling down. That's when, that's when you buy these Bitcoin and uh, crypto stocks here. And as you scan through here, we got uh, uh, cannabis here, low RSI. You could buy some great cannabis names here. And you could also buy some, uh, you know, Biotech names, both gene editing as well as biotech in general. You could buy those given low RSI. You could buy fintech here. Think about Square, PayPal, and many of the fintech names are down here. You could buy those. And look at cloud computing. All these uh, cloud computing names, stay at home type names, they are down big time here. You could selectively buy some uh, cloud computing stocks here. And then look at uh, space. Space is down a little bit. And also social media, the stocks that we talked about, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, um, um, you know, all those stocks will work here. Uh, you could uh, make some money with those here. And with that, let's jump in here and look at uh, stocks with a heavy, heavy short ratio and volume greater than 1 million. You got to be selective here. We'll, uh, we'll, you know, methodically go into better stocks as we go forward. As you look through here, this is a... Uh, List of all the stocks with a very, very heavy short ratio. Keep watching here. You got highest short ratio at the top here, 85%. From there, it's a descending order. The key is uh, keep watching what's happening in the one day, five day time frame. If the stock is uh, doing nicely here, don't go there, don't buy those. Keep watching the RSI levels. When the RSI is level, level is below, say 50 or 55, those are the good ones to buy. For example, we got CRTX here. RSI is 18, stock is down big time. You could buy some CRTX at these levels here. Workhorse, RSI 52, uh, nice sales growth. You could buy some workhorse here. Um, BKKT, I would wait a little bit. You could uh, buy some here, but uh, you know you could wait a little more for this to come down a little more. Uh, that's how I would uh, um, you know approach this. Look at Tattooed Chef here, low RSI. Um, and uh, you could buy some Tattoo Chef on this uh, news about them rescheduling their earnings statement here. And you could look at stocks like Lemonade here, good one. And you could also look at other names here with the low RSI. You know, keep watching, you know, what stock, how what stock is doing in the near term. If stock is uh, doing a small bounce in one day, five day, still with low RSI, you could buy those. So that's a uh, you know quick back of the napkin type uh, you know thought process here. You know keep watching nice sales growth names, low RSI, and stocks are dropped off in the near term and go after those. Next we look at the continuation here. We got still high RSI as uh, high short ratio as you can scan through here. Focus on low RSI candidates like HRTX. And we got, uh, you know, a couple more here, Tiger and uh, Romeo. You could look at some of those names here. Go after those versus, uh, high, sh you know, versus uh, high RSI candidates. And keep watching here. We got the uh, best here, RSI 34. Clovis, also a good one to buy slowly and so on and so forth. And we'll look at the uh, next uh, few names here. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we've got a few more names here. Keep watching, you know, RSI levels. You could buy some good RX, good RX here. Stock is trying to turn around in five day here. And, uh, you know, so on and so forth. Um, and, you know, you could uh, look at some names. I like, love China data also here. 
ten dollar stock here trying to come up here in um, you know in five days you could buy some chain or data also here uh, actually chain or data is up uh, up uh, nine point four percent you could uh, look at this one too so that's how I generally ap approach these names here um, and go from there and uh, let's do one thing I think our heading is a little bit uh, off here let's uh, take this heading off and uh, fix that quickly and take go from there there we go so so I would uh, you know I think still it did not fix the heading here that's fine let's go into our next section and look at uh, you know better way to grow your portfolio so what I would typically do is really I like to look at positive sales growth positive gross margin so this is where you know we have some uh, great stocks with this uh, great growth here and low RSI low RSI means stocks are dropped off here and they can rebound and also volume greater than 1 million that tells you these stocks can uh, you know are liquid here and uh, you can trade in and out this is the you know better way to grow your portfolio safely here let's uh, look at those candidates here as you look through here we got uh, beyond meat at the top here the stock has been falling off in one you know or in five day ten day trying to go higher in one day that tells you beyond meat had enough you know downtime and it's trying to go higher here I would be slowly buying some beyond meat I know they had their earnings they got some few challenges earnings is already baked into the stock price here I would slowly buy some beyond meat here and take it from there and then you got your Huron therapeutics again trying to bounce back here keep watching the RSI levels all these are low RSI candidates you could safely buy and also nice sales growth and gross margin so that way you don't get hurt too much so as you scan through here if the stock has gone up too much uh, then wait for a little pullback here in the names like uh, shift 4 um, and even uh, some of these names here but if the stock is showing some nice progress in one day five day you could buy those all these have got low RSI as you can see here and as you scan through we got some great names here uh, keep watching Chewy's here good one here trying to go higher I would wait for Chewy's here it's already gone up so much here um, as you scan through we got uh, keep watching the low RSA candidates like beyond meat here and we got tiger you could still buy buy some tiger and accumulate it's had a nice run here as you see here you could still buy slowly and uh, go forward as you look through we got a few more low RSA candidates like FT FT here again a chain of based fintech play you could buy that one too and you got blooming brands here you could buy that one too here low RSI nice sales growth and you got a few more as you can look at we got AWH Aspira women's here down big time after the earnings I think it's a good one to buy here um, and go from there and as you look through here we got a few more we got uh, Sorento technologies or Sorento here therapeutics down big big time here RSI 39 here you could buy some Sorento also at these levels and accumulate so with that you know generally you know these are the better candidates for you as usual keep watching what's going on in one day five day if you see a small uptick you could uh, go after those but if you see this yellow here you could wait a little bit for a little pullback and then jump in as usual keep watching what's going on in the insider and institution uh, trade here stocks like REI could be a good one because insiders are buying it and uh, you could buy along with them so with that let's look at the next set of candidates here again these are all positive sales growth positive gross margin and low RSI let's look at some of these candidates here so keep watching short ratio is still high short ratio keep watching the RSI levels we got um, all RSI's uh, low RSI's here and whenever uh, you see um, highlight here with the names like uh, CBNA here and uh, NVTA that tells you this got lower RSI you could look at those candidates given they are sold off a little bit you could focus on those candidates and buy those I like you know stocks like NVTA here low RSI and even uh, Carvana 38 I think Carvana is high sh price right now um, you know you can uh, in a little bit high for now you could um, you know if you have a lower port uh, portfolio size you could skip Carvana here but generally focus on the candidate with the lower RSI and uh, go after those all of these have got nice sales growth as you can see here look at Teledoc it used to go much higher last year now it's uh, down to earth here low RSI uh, trying to improve a little bit in the you know, near term 
and we got names like my size here very low price stock here uh, rsi is 40 here trying to turn around in one day slowly you could uh, look at that one too and we got a few more as you can scan through here uh, look at stitch fix here 36 dollar stock trying to turn around uh, i think it's a good one too we look at few more here uh, same thought process here keep watching um, rsi levels go after low rsi candidates which are trying to bounce off in one day five day and there are some great names here and keep watching what insiders or institutions are doing for example dpw insiders are buying it a good one you could buy that one along with these institutions and uh, go from there and there are some great names here bluebird bio is really got clobbered here uh, it's very intriguing here if you're a contrarian you could buy some bluebird generally this stock has been going down for a long time jumia on the other hand it's a great one you could buy some jumia at these levels given rsi is 47 try to improve here you could do that one too trip advisor <clears throat> with the travel going back up here you could buy some trip advisor at these levels here and accumulate and we've got a few more great, great stocks <clears throat> as usual focus on low rsa candidates which are trying to bounce off in a one day five day and take it from there and now let's look at a better way to grow your portfolio safely with the sales growth plus gross margin greater than 40 percent low rsi a net margin is positive here um, and volume greater than 1 million these companies make money keep watching your net margin is positive these companies make money as you look through here we got uh, great stocks um, all you know making money here not money losers uh, focus on low rsa candidates here and stocks which are turning around in one day five day look at what's going on in the insider and institution buying here stocks like dpw we've got both insider institution buying stock is sold off with the rsi 36 here you could buy some of those names here and take it from there <clears throat> and then we we'll look at a few more here um, the same thought process uh, companies making money here low rsi you could go after some of these names here and go from there look at celsius holding i know a lot of people like to drink some of these uh, celsius uh, beverages here stock it down big time you could buy some celsius at these levels and go from there so with that let's uh, go in here and look at best way to grow your portfolio safely here we got uh, sales growth plus gross margin greater than 40 percent low rsi uh, net margin is positive low debt companies are solvent here you are safe with these companies and also volume greater than 1 million shares so these are the better candidates here look here all um, debt we could be pretty pretty much low here companies are making money with the positive net margin you could go after these candidates here keep watching what's happening short ratio these short sellers are afraid of these companies that's why short ratio is a little bit lower as you can see here you could go after these candidates here and go from there uh, celsius holding you know jumps out at me with the you know stock getting clobbered here you could uh, put some money there too and generally look for low rsa candidates here like tiger like tpw pags is a good one here and so on so forth even zoom here it could be intriguing intriguing here stock is trying to turn around here we could look at those names and many others uh, and go from there uh, we got continuation here i love stocks like uh, digital turbine here trying to uh, a little bit weak here as we see here good one to buy at these levels and keep watching the short ratio here now short ratio is uh, not great here it's um, four percent and whatnot so still great companies uh, like excel axis i love this one also um, pinterest social media you could buy that one too insight a great one you could look at these names here these are you know better names here companies making money and low debt and next we'll look at uh, you know when ttm squeeze meets high short ratio i love some of these candidates here these stocks have to go up or down pretty quickly because the short ratio is high and there's a ttm squeeze um, you know using john moth uh, john carter's methodology here uh, these stocks have to go up or high pretty quickly that's why great swing trading opportunities as you look through here we got uh, you know stocks like Hiron therapeutics keep watching here we got a squeeze in three day squeeze here um, and even good rx a three day squeeze and stock is trying to go higher these are the candidates it tells you hey these stocks have to go higher because they're up in one day five day there's a good chance it'll go further high so i love when there's a sh high short ratio and there's a sh you know squeeze 
in one day, three day, or one week, or one month. So look at the candidates where RSI is low. Keep watching the RSI levels like GoodRx and uh, even Hiron and high short ratio and there's a squeeze in one day, three day, five day, one week. You could go after those and buy those and uh, there'll be nice swing trading opportunities in those names. On the other hand, I think, you know, we got all low RSA candidates here. We don't have any high RSA candidates. And typically when I do this, I like to focus on low uh, IV percentile candidates or a low volatility candidates. Look at Cooper here. Cooper. Uh, right now, RSI is 87. That tells you um, you may not want to buy the star, you know, buy any call option here. But Cooper, as you see here, RSI is uh, 36 here. You could sell some put option or a put spread beneath and make some money that way. Typically, I like to <clears throat> buy the stocks when the IV percentile is a little bit low here. Uh, so that way, you know, there is a high chance it will go higher. And even if you buy options, call options, you're make, not make, paying too much money given IV percentile is low. So many, many of these stocks I love up here. You got Celsius holdings here down big time here. You could slowly buy some Celsius holding at these levels and accumulate. And keep watching here. There are great candidates. You could uh, look at these and buy. You got Anaplan here. Again, a great stock. Um, keep watching IV percentile 100, which means uh, you could sell some put options underneath the stock price and take it from there. <clears throat> and we got little company, uh, KPLT Catapult, a $5 stock here, has done nicely here. I would uh, wait for a little pullback and buy this one also. RSI is 53 at these levels here. I love stocks like Fiverr, great stock here. Uh, doing Going higher now, I would wait for a little pullback here. So with that, let's uh, jump in here, look at <clears throat> a few more names here. Keep watching our, you know, uh, short ratio here. You know, it's not too high at these levels. All great stocks, nice uh, squeeze in one day, three day, five day, and also relatively high short ratio, but not super high. You could look at some of some of these names which are beaten down, like Okta, Match is a good one too, Coursera down big time. Look here, institutions are buying Coursera, that's a good one here. And you could uh, look at some of these names here and buy them and expect a nice swing um, as you go forward. So with that, uh, we got some cheat sheet here. You could look at the entry point where RSI less than 55, exit point where RSI is greater than 60, and look at some catalyst like we are talking about right now, which is high short ratio. So with that, thank you very much. Happy investing and trading. Please subscribe.